What lurks below? The largest creatures that ever lived, giant fish, huge whales, and humongous sharks, all deadly, all lurking in the waters. I'm Larry, and in today's episode, we take a look at the largest sea creatures known to man. We start off with number 15. This scraggly looking creature looks like a floating hippie from the 1960s. Can you say Woodstock? This is a lion's mane jellyfish. The diameter of the bell, that's the top part, can span to around seven feet and tentacles close to 200 feet long. While this jelly uses its stinging ability to stun and capture its prey, this big guy is typically not a huge threat to humans because it stays mainly in the icy waters of the Arctic and northern Pacific Oceans where few people jump in the water. Next is a creepy, spiderish-looking character called the Japanese spider crab, sporting long, spindly legs that can extend as far as 13 feet and weigh close to 50 pounds. This creature does like to eat other sea flesh, primarily the kind that's already dead. It spends most of its time strolling across the seabed or hiding on the ocean floor from predators. Its hard shell gives it some protection, and the claws this guy has are like vices, even known to clip off human fingers before. Finally, not only is the spider crab big, their lifespan is huge too. We know they can reach 100 years old and beyond. Coming in at number 13 is the Colossal Squid. This is the largest invertebrate in the world, weighing around 1,100 pounds and close to 50 feet in length. That's longer than a school bus. Another unique feature of this enormous creature is the size of its eyes. It can definitely stare you down with these peepers. They are the size of large dinner plates used to track down the small fish prey they love to eat. It's generally longer overall than its giant squid cousin, but usually has shorter tentacles. But those tentacles are wicked with swiveling hooks that come in handy when attacked by its natural enemy, the sperm whale. They can rip an attacker to shreds as a way to escape a fatal hold. This next sea creature looks just like a floating fish head without a body. The Mola Mola, otherwise known as the ocean sunfish, is the largest bony fish in the ocean. There are other larger fish such as sharks, but they're made up of cartilage, not bones. As a result, these guys are darn heavy, some weighing up to 5,000 pounds and are about the size of a rhinoceros. They also like to hang out on the ocean surface so birds can pick off parasites from their skin. Staying in mostly warm to temperate waters, the sunfish feeds on mostly jellyfish, and a lot of them since they have little nutritional value. When you're a huge floating disc like this, you have to keep your strength up. The Portuguese man o' war is often mistaken for a jellyfish, but it's a very different creature. It's really incorrect to refer to it as a singular fish because it's actually a coming together of a group of organisms that depend on each other for their existence. The Portuguese part of the name is derived by the sail-looking form it takes as it floats on the surface, looking like a Portuguese warship from the 18th century. The balloon-looking part of the man o' war is not that huge, growing to about a foot or two, but the venomous tentacles that hang down below the surface can extend as far as 165 feet. The paralyzing sting they pack allows it to feed on small fish and plankton. While not typically fatal to humans, these floating balloons are long and lean and can inflict quite a sting. The next big boy of the sea is actually not around anymore. This is Cretoxyrhina, aka the Ginzu shark. Its common name is a reference to the well-known Ginzu knives that can slice and dice just about anything. Living around 82 to 100 million years ago, this predator's incredibly razor-sharp teeth would hack away on prey much larger than itself into more bite-sized pieces to eat and digest. Even so, the Ginzu shark was no little guppy. Recovered adult fossils tell us the shark was around 30 feet long with seven, count them, seven rows of teeth. 
34 in the upper jaw and 36 in the lower. With teeth like this, you could call this guy the blender shark. This next guy is one you're probably familiar with, made famous by the Peter Benchley novel Jaws and the Steven Spielberg movie that followed. The great white shark is one of the most active predatory creatures in the sea. Found in coastal waters and oceans all over the world, the great white has no known natural predators except for the occasional killer whale attack. Females are typically bigger than males, maturing at around 20 feet long, weighing more than 4,000 pounds, and can live up to 70 years. While highly predatory, their preferred prey is not humans, but a variety of marine life, especially gray seals. Believe it or not, the great white shark is listed as a vulnerable species, and some governments even give them protected status. The largest marine reptile ever found is the Shastasaurus, meaning Mount Shasta lizard, dating to the late Triassic period some 210 million years ago. This beak-looking creature has been found to be as large as nearly 70 feet in length. The interesting thing about this extinct creature is that specimens found featured a small skull and a short, toothless snout, leading scientists to believe it was a suction feeder, distinctly different from other members of its scientific order, sort of the vacuum cleaner of the prehistoric sea world, likely feeding on soft meals such as cephalopods that had no hard shell, having no teeth for a marine reptile of this size truly meant your diet really sucked. Number 7. Tylosaurus This guy sported a long cylindrical snout that is thought to have been used as a kind of a sledgehammer to stun prospective prey into a stupor for attack and consumption. These creatures hunted in the western coastal seas during the late Cretaceous period, with the biggest examples reaching close to 50 feet long. They weren't really picky eaters either, feeding on fish, sharks, or other aquatic lizards, and even flightless diving birds. They are ancient relatives of the modern monitor lizards and snakes. Back to the creatures still living on the planet, the whale shark is the largest fish in the ocean. Despite being called a shark, this is a gentle giant of a creature. Staying near the surface in the warmer waters, it can grow to about 40 feet or more in length and is recognized by a distinctive dotted pattern on its body. The whale shark is a filter feeder. Its cavernous mouth can open up wide, taking in a mother load of small fish and plankton to its satisfaction. This fish fish is fairly passive in behavior, sometimes allowing swimmers to hitch a ride, and photographers have even attached video cameras to fins to track where they go and what they eat. Technically not a dinosaur, but another of the prehistoric aquatic lizards is the Mosasaurus, meaning Muse River Lizard, where the first fossil was found. It lived among the European and Northern American seas during the Crustaceous Age some 70 million years ago. It was an immense predatory sea lizard that used its lethal set of teeth to feed on an array of fish, sharks, even the great white, and other marine reptiles. It had a second set of teeth on its upper jaw to prevent any food from escaping once in the mouth and throat. The average length of this gargantuan creature was about 60 feet in length, probably weighing some 5 tons. In 2009, scientists were beside themselves with excitement about what is called Predator X. This was a goliath of a reptile that had an immense head with a bite four times more powerful than T. rex. In 2015, the prehistoric sea creature was given the scientific name Pliosaurus funke, so this guy makes the list not just because of its funky name, but his size alone has astonished experts ever since remains were discovered in the Arctic region of Norway. In its heyday, it measured about 50 feet long and weighed about 45 tons. When it roamed the ocean some 147 million years ago, it was a supercharged swimmer with front flippers to cruise the seas. But when prey was in sight, it could turn on the afterburners with its hind flippers. 
Returning to the still living creatures, number three, there is no short selling the size of the fin whale. It is the second largest animal on Earth at an average length of close to 90 feet long and weighing more than 77 tons. This whale is truly enormous. During the 20th century, it was an unfortunate target of unchecked whale hunting. It's estimated that between 1904 and 1979, some 750,000 fin whales were killed in the southern hemisphere. To this day, they are rarely seen in this part of the world and their numbers are unclear north of the equator. These whales are distinguished first by an obvious ridge along the back behind the dorsal fin, including the nickname Razorback. It also has a curious patch of coloring that is still a mystery even to experts. The right side of the fin whale jaw is bright white, while the left jaw is black. It's speculated that when they're hunting fish, the whale circles them, showing the white side of their face to scare the fish into larger schools and eventually getting a bigger catch. A big creature like this needs all the food it can get. Then there is Megalodon, meaning big tooth. This prehistoric shark is the stuff that legends are made of. But the fossils and remains dug up over the years tell us this was not just a legend. This sea creature was real. Scientists say this vicious predator lived some 2 to 23 million years ago in mainly warm waters. While it's difficult to say for sure its size, when you look at one of its teeth more than 7 inches long, you know this was a huge animal. Estimates put it to be at least 60 feet long with a Grand Canyon-sized mouth that a rhinoceros literally could fit in. Some would describe Megalodon as a bigger, stronger, and stockier version of the great white shark. One of the most savage sea creatures, it became extinct two million years ago, some say with the onset of the Ice Age. Topping our list of the biggest sea creatures ever is the blue whale. It is the largest creature, land or sea, known to ever live on the face of the earth. The adult blues will grow to about 100 feet and weigh around 200 tons. They do love their seafood, eating some 8 tons of shrimp-like krill a day. To give you an idea of this huge animal's unchallenged size, its tongue alone is the size of an African elephant and its heart comparable to the size of an automobile. Their long profile is sleeker than most other whales and has a blue-gray color with lighter gray spots that gives this tremendous mammal a modeling look to its skin. This beautiful rotund creature was at one time in almost every ocean on Earth, but excessive hunting the first half of the 20th century dropped their numbers significantly. Now they are protected, and the numbers are increasing for now. The largest creature anywhere on Earth, the blue whale, is still swimming and amazing us with its beauty and agility in the world's waters. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel to learn more fun facts about seahorses. Fun fact number one, we don't have a video about them, but we'll make one eventually. So subscribe. In the meantime, watch another video about marine life.